just got a phone call from a guy. He saw the hovercraft video and he's actually a local bloke. And um, he's been building hovercrafts for over 20 years. He moved from the coast down here. And he gave me a call, say, mate, I just saw that. You've done a few toes for me over the years. Um, if you need a hand, let me know. He goes, from what I can see that you've got there, um, you're gonna have trouble with the skirts. He goes, if you come and see me, I've got a skirt design and I'll be able to help you out to get that hovercraft thing happening. Um, and apparently there is another hovercraft about 80 k's out of town. It's a four-seater one that he'd sold to a bloke. So he's gonna talk to his mate and see if we can't go out there and have a look at that one going as well. So yeah, hovercraft, dude. It's all happening. How cool is this gonna be? But it's good to have him on board now to be able to, I was a little bit worried about that skirt design stuff, but um, he's gonna help us out. So yeah. Let's um, go and have a look and see where the boys have got to um, to keep you guys up to date. And then tomorrow morning on our live stream, we will um, have her going, which is gonna be mad. All right, dudes, let's go have a look to see where Captain is up to with the motor install. Right, guys, here we go. This one's a little bit of a sideways step, so I don't know what you guys think of these, but they are pretty popular. I had a really nice blue one a while back that I sold to a mate, Keith. I'm actually gonna call past and see him now and see if I can buy the wheels back that were on that. but. What I got, Honda. I've wanted one of these, these. And I think that this thing, I want to do that electric conversion. And I'm thinking that this thing here could be the perfect candidate for the electric conversion. What do you guys reckon? Look, it's, it's auto, which sucks, but it's, um, the interior's really good in it. Like the seats are still in really good shape. The rear seat's still good. Everything's there, hood liner's a bit dirty. Dash is good, needs a steering wheel, which is fine. It's an airbag one, which is a pain. Door trims are still in good shape. Yeah, it's a little Honda. So either an electric conversion or a motorbike motor conversion into this. What do you guys reckon? I like it, I like it a lot. I'll call past now and we'll go see Keith, um, the one that I did sell to him. Um, I will, I've regretted selling that thing since the day I sold it to him. But um, yeah, we'll go past see Keith, see if we can't get some wheels for this today. It's all about the wheels. And yeah, so what do you reckon guys? Honda electric or motorbike motor? She could be cool. Right, oh, dudes, just got back to the workshop, got my mad Honda on the back. Called in and saw my old one, here's the picture of it. Um, and the wheels, these are the wheels I want to get off him. They're pretty good. Mine, this one's slightly different. I'm a bit spewing about that because I really like that other one. But we're about to go and show old Capitanio this um, Honda and the response we're gonna get, I bet, is not gonna be good. So, let's see what he's got to say, eh? Hey? But yeah, yeah, Honda life, look at that, beast. See, the, my old one, the guards were different. When I, now, I'll clarify, when I say my old one, it was a junk one that got dropped in the yard by some guy, had wheels and that, but looked good and didn't go and, and everything, but I just liked the style of it. My guards are slightly different on this. Um, the headlights are slightly different, the dash is different. <coughs> this rear spoiler bit here is different, and these lights here are different on the other one. I did just find a turbo kit on eBay, I'll show you that. It's um, just under a thousand bucks, but I'm pretty keen to sort of have a play. This one is auto though, guys, like, yeah, see it's auto. But, um, Inside's pretty good though. Look, it's not too bad. It needs a steering wheel. Door trims are still good. Um, yeah, done 200 odd thousand Ks. Let's go show the captain, see what he's got to say. Alright, oh, no. he's here, milling ahead. What's this one on? Uh, three out of diesel. Okay, so Hilux diesel. Oh. Um, I got a car. It's bloody good. It's bloody good. Wanna come and look? Told you he'd be excited. He hasn't even seen it yet. Let's go look at it. Let's see what wheels I got for my Honda. In the wheel collection section. And for the thing. I got these 20s in the other day for Commodore, they'd be alright. Yeah, for the Subaru. There. Four. They're not no good. Um no, no, no. These ones here. I had a set of 18s like that on my CV8 Monaro. They'd actually look alright. What else have we got in the wheel section? Too small. Not too sure about them. Don't know what they are. 
They're no good. These are going to be good on something, something old school that we built. Don't think there's any centre caps for them, but they'd be alright actually. Well, I don't know. Doesn't look like we've got wheels. He's not excited about this Honda. He's not excited at all. He doesn't even want to walk out and look at it. Don't know why. It's just silly, isn't it? I don't think there's any other wheels here for it. Hmm. I don't know. All right, let's get it unloaded. And I think there's actually another Honda wreck I'm picking up today that might have a manual conversion for it. But yeah, I might end up building this one at home in my garage. Right, guys, a while back I mentioned there was a VN wagon we were going to do a deal on. And um, it's finally come about. So, VN wagon, been sitting obviously for a long time, but it is a manual. Doesn't, there's a bit of a mouse smell to it, but not too bad. It doesn't seem to be rusty. Looks pretty good around the screen. It's pretty complete under the bonnet, which it is. Been sitting a long time. All right, so I just got informed it's been sitting for five years. So we've got plenty of air in the top of the tires and none in the bottom. Yeah. But yeah, but she's not rusted from what I can tell. So no, no rust there, we um, need a bumperette there. We can pull that off one of the other ones. And yeah, so we are going to go through and throw some fuel in it, battery, and see if she's going to run for us. So yeah, the plans for this one, guys, would be to um, a P plate special one, guys. So if you guys go out and buy a car that's um, cheap, needs a lot of work. I'm going to run through and show you what you got to look at, what you got to repair to get them going again. So we're going to start with just putting fuel in it, checking the oil, and then, um, yeah, battery, and it should run. Let's see. We'll see how we go. All right, dudes, we got, tried to get it to run. The fuel pump's not working, but it does turn over and stuff. It's got an immobilizer in it. But, um, yeah, I can't see too much rust in it. It's got lowered springs in the back. We'll have to replace the bar on this side. I can't see a lot of rust, but, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what it ends up like. A bit of a pea plate special. So we'll just get it back, clean it up, see what we've got. Manual. Matt. Right, hey dudes, um, update on the hovercraft. Okay, so Captain spent the day, a bit of the day yesterday, getting another motor in there. Apparently it was only held in by a couple of bolts, so he's just got to change the way it mounts a little bit, and then this thing will be happening. But I've just opened up some post. And from a subscriber, T-Bone Malone, thank you very much, dude. He sent me a, um, a fuel pump because I said I needed one for the um, VNSS ute build. This one, I've ordered a new one anyway, a holy black, but this one's slightly too small for what we need to achieve for the ute, but we needed one for the hovercraft. So thank you very much, dude. This will go straight onto the hovercraft to get this thing going. It's absolutely spot on for that. It's a Mr. Gasket one. Um, yeah, doesn't flow quite the amount we need for the ute, but it'll be absolutely spot on for the hovercraft especially when Leith, um, or if he gets to doing what he was talking about yesterday, but that's a video for another day. And I also had some other posts turn up today. I got a another steering wheel. steering wheel. It's just the same one as what we got for the formula. It worked out to be quite a good wheel, only 59 bucks or whatever, and I'm pretty sure Jono, who's getting the ute, doesn't want me to steal the one off the formula, so this one will go onto the VNSS ute build. Nice and cheap, works well, looks good. Mad. All right, but thank you very much, T-Bay Malone. Absolute legend for sending that to us. And that will be getting the um, hovercraft going. Right, at the end of a very long day, I've been supposed to get out here. I've, I've got a mate that I left cars at his house and I've done the wrong thing by him, basically. Left them there, he rang me before, said, look, I'm moving, man, we've got to move them. So um, I'm here to do them now, late in the Arvo. Tired, but what do you do? So what I'm moving, guys, is right, this one tonner, this is, Builds that are coming up. I've been collecting one tonners. Okay, so this one's just a I think it's a H. This is a WB one It's got a 3.3, but it does have a Aussie four-speed in it as you can see in there. It's a manual which gives me manual pedals the gearbox just in case um, It is a one tonner chassis. That's not rusted out Okay, but the cab is fairly much rooted, but it gives me a window um, column I'm probably not going to use anyway for what we're going to try and build. Um, you know, little things, sway bar perhaps, that's a six cylinder one anyway from the looks of it. Wiper motors, heater box, because a lot of those these days are getting um, rusted out. I've got to come back and get this one. This one here is a... 
HJ, I'd say, from the looks of it. Okay, so once again, one tonner chassis. The one tonner and ute chassis, guys, are actually different lengths, believe it or not. So one tonner chassis are probably six inches longer. And you can tell a one tonner chassis by these plates here. All right, so once again, this one's probably only good for some rust cuts and some bits and pieces. Looks like it's got a Commodore bench seat in it. Um, there's nothing really in this I'm going to need, I don't think. Maybe wiper mechanisms. Um, it was a six-cylinder car. As you can see, the sway bar is only a small one. But yeah, heater box again, booster. I can maybe send that booster away to get redone. All right, so that's two of the one tonners. I think I've got about five of them, five or six, to put together one. So what the plan will be with the tonners is put them all next to each other at the yard, and we're going to build one, one tonner out of all the crap I've got hanging around. So if you can go out and over a 12 month period buy one from here and one from there for 200 bucks at a time, you end up with everything you need and maybe smash something together. Well, that's the plan and we'll see where we end up. But while I was here, HQ sedan. Um, once again, I've been pissing my mate about and he's been very patient with me because I've never got any money, but I committed to buy this. Um, I think it was just before we went to Uluru. So I've got to sort this out this week. Coming up to Christmas makes it hard, but HQ guys, it is rusty, but they all are. So we're just going to work through on this. It'll need planums. It is pretty good up in the gutters. Rear wheel arches are bad. It's going to need floor pans, as you can see. Yeah, it's probably going to go, um, it's got a bench seat there with um, headrests, which is pretty cool. Um, it's probably just going to go late model interior. I have a mate, um, Mitch, I don't know if you uh, you guys, if you're on Facebook on the HQ pages, he's got a bluey purple Monaro with a late model interior in it. We're actually going to go down and see Mitch in the next um, week or two and check that Monaro out with you guys. He's been building that for... 20 years, but it is a beautiful car. Um, and I'm probably going to go the same sort of way with this, with the late model interior. So, quarters will need work. Boot doesn't look too bad, but it does have a rear bar. Looks like he's chucked in a, another seat, maybe. Um, it is very, very bad here, right? Um, okay, so that's extremely bad. That's not as bad as my first car, though, that I had, which was a HJ. Okay. okay. All those bits and pieces. I don't think there was a motor in this one, was there? Oh yeah, there is. There's a six cylinder sitting in it. It's a 202. No power steering, guys. Yeah, but I just saw this mailbox. How cool is this thing? That is absolutely, cool. that's mad. How good is that? I need that for the workshop. That's cool as. Did you make that? He just nodded going, yep, I made that. Jake's one of these ones that's a little bit camera shy. Okay, so you saw the rust that's there on that. He chucked in this bit of goodness so we can get our cuts out of this one. It doesn't look to be much better, but um, it is what it is, guys. You just gotta build what you can with what you've got. But it'll help with bits and pieces. And then the other, how's this one? This, uh, this bit's in, but it just keeps going. It's like Christmas here. We have a, ta -da, a rear cut for a VN. How cool is that? We can build something pretty sweet out of that. I'll find a garnish somewhere. Might even SS lip it. And um, yeah, so I don't know what we're going to do with that, guys, but um, looks pretty cool, though. Yeah, so there you go. A um, lot of work to do to get these one punters where we need them to be. Those projects won't be happening until the start of the year because we're going to start on the four-wheel drive Tirana very soon. But yeah, so, righto. So, motor's in, guys. The boys had a bit of dramas with it. The actual changing from the other motor to this one, the exhaust was in a slightly different spot, so we had to modify that a little bit. Um, what other trouble did they run into? That was about it, really. The underneath, it wasn't bolted in properly, so they've redone a few of the mounts and got it all happening. I've got a new throttle cable there for it. Um, we've got T-Bone Malone's fuel pump that he uh, kindly sent us. Thank you very much, dude, I really appreciate that. But other than that, we think it's gonna be pretty right. So, Leith's gonna do a little bit more to it today, during the day, and then tomorrow morning, guys, on our live stream, um, everything falling into place. That, yeah, we should have this thing going. Uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens, but yeah. Pretty excited about the old um, hovercraft. 
I don't know. I've done sillier things, I think. All right. But anyway, all right, Hovercraft, tomorrow morning, Saturday morning live, and yeah, it'll be 10, 10.30, and that's Queensland time, guys. All right, so see you on the live. See you.